Hello and welcome to Illumination Podcast with Nick and Kizma. Guess what? I'm Kizma, and this is our 100th episode. Woohoo! Can't wait to chat. Hello and welcome to Illumination Podcast with Nick and Kizma, bringing you ancient wisdom for modern day success so that you can have the mindset to get your life and business set. As always, thank you for tuning in. And if you're new to the podcast, take a quick second to hit the subscribe button in iTunes, SoundCloud, or Stitcher. Uh, If you want to get the inside info for this and every episode, as well as some free gifts, go to illuminationacademy.net forward slash podcasts. And now let's dive in to get your mindset for your life and business set. All right. Well, hello there, Nick. Happy 100th. Happy 100th. Kind of cool, right? It is. It's really exciting. Yeah. I, I mean... I know people have been on like have thousands of episodes, but I I feel like hitting 100 has shown a level of dedication consistency that we perhaps struggled with at the beginning. (laughs) (laughs) I would agree. Yeah. Yes. Yes, we did a little bit, Mm -hmm. Um, but it's come a long way as you know, Mm -hmm. from, from what we originally released it as and Kisma and the dark yogi. Kiss me and and the dark yogi. That's Mm -hmm. right. Wow. It used to be the dark yogi. Lifetime ago. Mm Mm-hmm. Which was a fun name, but I, I think the Illumination Podcast I th- is better. I believe it's better. But yeah, it has been a journey. It mm-hmm. really has been a journey. Um, and I so appreciate you because I know that you have really played such a big part in keeping it consistent. Mm-hmm. You know, left to my own devices, it would probably look just like my uh, <laughs> my live videos, you know, where I'm like on my personal page where I'm like, I'm there and I'll do like three or four great videos yeah. and get a lot of interaction and everybody will be excited and then I'll disappear for like a month, you know? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, it's interesting because some of our dear friends have podcasts and they record, like they'll pick days and they'll just record, record, record. And the nature of, I think, how we conduct ours and the nature for who we are to do five podcasts in a day is not going to work. However, we have been able to chunk in certain recording days where we get a couple done and it's really fun and and we can still remain relevant to what's happening. Well, that's one of the important parts to me mm-hmm. about doing it that way is that it, it stays it stays relevant. Everything that we're doing is very present. You know, it's in the mm-hmm. flow of our mm-hmm. own lives, you mm-hmm. know, so we're not talking about things here that are disconnected from our yeah. lives or like mm-hmm. things like that. It's it's really something that's very much in the flow of everything. Mm-hmm. And that's fun. You yeah. know, I, like I've had so much fun doing this with you and, <laughs> and I'm just like really grateful f- to, to even have this, let alone to have all the listeners that we oh, do. Oh, you listeners, we love you and adore you. So much. Like yeah. it's, it's just the coolest thing yeah. that we can do this and then beam it out there. And, and, and I uh, love getting messages from people. I listen to this podcast and I got the, it, like, it's the coolest thing. I'll have people like just start talking about the entire podcast. I'm like, oh my gosh, you really listen. This is amazing. Yeah, they really listen. Yeah. It's like, wow, I've, I've gotten on the phone with um, people uh, to talk about energy mastery mm-hmm. and and they're like, oh yeah, and I listen to your podcast and this, mm-hmm. and they'll tell me all the things I said. I'm like, I said that. <laughs> I love that. Because it, it is in the flow. You it's know? in like, the that's flow. We're, we, we're yeah. yes, you know, and this would give just a quick little plug. Um, Nick and I, you know, we've been working on this ultimate life tool assessment. Some of you listeners have already taken this. This is an amazing uh, I mean, it's an operating system. You get to know what you are and we've become certified trainers in this. It's been amazing. And the reason that we kind of talk the way we do and download is because we both have a lot of what's called so. It's an effervescent energy that it just channels. It just comes, right? It's one of the pieces of taking this this test so if you're interested, there is a link um, to purchase the assessment. It comes with a full hour with one of us to go through it and talk to you about it. It was really life-changing for me. It's like taking 10 years off personal growth. Yeah, it and really so I, it I fast do wanna, tracks so many things. Yeah, yeah. I do want to highlight that. We'll have a link in the show notes because if you're into personal growth, spiritual growth, and you've done other assessments, this is very different. It is not subjective. It's based on what you are. Yeah. Well, you know, what's interesting about it too, for me, is that there's only one person in the world that I know of who can actually do what that test does 
without without the test, mm-hmm. right? And like that's really cool for that one person. Yeah, that one person. Right. And, for but for yeah. us mere mortals, like it gives a really simple assessment that mm-hmm. that a person can go through and then you and then you see it on on paper. Like you literally just see it and you're like, oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. And it's just clearer yeah. and cleaner and tangible. So yeah. just giving it a plug. It's been great, everyone. So yeah. right. I could go off on that. I know. I, like I'm we'll jazzed do about whole. the technology. Like yeah. it's really cool. You we'll, know? we'll get you combine creator. that with energy mastery and it's just like wow, you know, like this is great. But okay, so 100th episode. 100th episode. (laughs) Look, we've already spun out. That's the so, everybody. That's the so. That's what that looks like. So the 100th episode, we, of course, I want to give a shout out as well to Jason, who's been help. I mean, without Jason, this would not happen behind the scenes, making sure it's all up on our site. Tony's been doing show notes. So um, Danielle's been doing graphics for us and has new graphics. Check those out. Much love to her. Oh, so yeah. I love her design. Yeah, so to beautiful. the team, thank you so much. And to Chris, who does the audio editing. That's right. Yeah. Mr. Chris. Chris is, has been around for since yeah, the beginning. Pretty we can't much. find anybody do audio like him. Yeah. So if much, there, much appreciation. If there's any audio, if you ever find an episode that's a little substandard, it's because Chris didn't do it. <laughs> that's that's the long and the short. I'd either try to do it myself yes. or, or Chris writes everyone. Yeah. It's just phenomenal. <laughs> so but, but anyway. moving on. So 100th episode, 100th episode, we want to talk about gratitude. Um, and, you know, this has been something that's creeping up as if I've never been grateful for anything. But it has been showing up at this ripe old age of 57 for me, where I'm looking at gratitude more and more. And Nick's making a face. Are you, like, really, f- are you really 57? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Grateful to be 57. And I'm grateful for you. Yeah, thank you. And so what I've realized is that oftentimes, just to be perfectly transparent, I'd roll my eyes when people are like, oh, gratitude and gratitude journals. And I'm like, that word has seemed so overused. And then I started to explore it and deeply in the deep, deep spiritual teachings. And I was like, okay. There's a new show in town right now with this gratitude. And so we thought we would sort of dissect why gratitude, just three basic reasons why gratitude is so essential. And just to be clear for everybody, like this is really a central part of, you know, this is really a central part and it's a central part about um, how we come to this show of every episode, I think about each and every one of the people out there who, who are listening, you know, maybe you're driving in your car, maybe you're listening to it on a walk or a jog or whatever that is, like all the different thing places that people listen to it. And I'm just like, wow, like I'm so grateful for the technology that allows us to get this out there. I'm so grateful for every person who's out there taking in the message. Like that's just the coolest thing to me ever. Like <laughs> Nick's Mr. Gratitude. You know, am I getting, yeah, is it? Okay. I'll cool. dial okay. it back a little okay. bit, but I just want you to know, like, I think that's important. No, it really is. You yeah. people are busy. It's true story. Yeah. Hashtag true story. Uh, okay. I love that. Okay, good. But, but let's talk about this word and why it is a life changer. So there's one very basic reason is when I call it the grateful mind, when you're in the grateful mind, you are directing your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions higher, right? So think about, um, you may have heard us talk about devotion. Devotion is love directed higher. So gratitude is like thanks directed higher. So when you're in gratitude, you're out of worry. And when you're in gratitude, you're out of self-pity. And I don't really like to talk about self-pity, but it's something that comes up a lot. And I'm seeing it a lot because people are working really hard. They're, they're pedal to the metal. They're in burnout. They might not be getting what they want. So they tip into self-pity. And from the prosperity teachings, you've likely heard me say, self-pity will squash your prosperity. It just will put it out like lights. So when we're in gratitude, there is no space for the extreme worry. There's no space for self-pity. There's not, there's little space for anger and resentment. It really is the foundation of true abundance, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you want to invoke divine abundance, the very first step to do that is to sit down and be grateful. For what you have and what is coming your way. Grateful for the chair that you're sitting on. Right. Grateful for every cell of your body right. for that innate intelligence that magically is keeping your human 
uh, functioning so that your soul has a home. Right. You know, like think about that. Like that's crazy. Like it's just, cra- it's mind boggling, mm-hmm. you know? And, but that foundation is, is laid through gratitude mm-hmm. and then the abundance can grow from there. Exactly. So, so I love how you, I love yeah. how you bring that into it. And you've been, you know, you've been reminding me of some things like just this morning mm-hmm. I, I was, I was sitting there and Kisma's walking around <laughs> and she's making her amazing smoothie and everything. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Hey, when you have a second, mm-hmm. I could really use, you know, one of the, one of your prosperity commands. Yep. And she gave me this beautiful command and it, Gratitude is a very big part of that. Gratitude is a big part of it. Yeah. Gratitude can pivot. I mean, we know gratitude is a soothing emotion, right? So, and I'm not saying that one should always be happy or always be feeling good. That's not realistic. Again, we're human. We're going to have sadness. We're going to we're going to have sorrow. We might even have anger. We don't want to dwell on anger. We don't want to dwell on resentment. Things like that. But things like sadness show up. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. reflection, contemplation, even melancholy. Yet gratitude, when inserted, just elevates you. It has you facing the one supreme essence. Yes. Like God, Brahman, Atman, Source, whatever your word is, gratitude has you facing your true north, Mm. your creator. It really does. It does. Because when you talk about the ultimate gratitude, you're like, I'm grateful this has been given to me. This has been made. Well, who's behind all of that? Yeah. Yeah. The miracles. The miracles all the time, all the time. It's not just us. And make no mistake, we can do a lot by sheer force and will, and we'll talk about that more in another episode. Yet when we're in the grateful mind, it's like we open the doorway for things to flood in. Mm -hmm. Very big things. So gratitude, if nothing else, takes up space so we're not dipping into the lower vibe. Now, when we talk about gratitude, you brought up, the challenges that we mm-hmm. have, right? And I think there's a a nuance there to be grateful for mm-hmm. the challenges, but not necessarily to like rose colored glasses over them and mm-hmm. to say like, oh, you know, it's not a challenge. It's a, mm-hmm. you know, or whatever. And to really downplay that. And it's like, well, wait a second. There are challenges in yeah. life. Right. There are uh, there are obstacles, you know, mm-hmm. from point A to point B and challenges that come up and those things do need to be dealt with and handled. Um, gratitude certainly keeps your heart and your mind open to opportunity. Right. Right. But if you go too far with that and ignore it all together, well, you're really just setting yourself up to be blindsided. Yeah. And what that ultimately is, which I think is very interesting, is a need to be right that everything's, you know, everything's going to be fine kind of thing, that pedantic. And uh, not have the respect of taking action or accountability or whatever. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to, we must handle the challenges coming our way. Yeah, much easier with that, that feeling of gratitude. Oh, so much easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's, you know, it really does open heart energy. And when your heart energy is open, it's, it's activated to engage with the world Mm -hmm. in a much more um, tangible way. Right. And, when you're doing, when you're trying to do all that in your head, you're you're actually doing that from a place of lower resource. Yes, the heart is a massive resource. Right. You know, the heart in your chest and the heart mm-hmm. of two. Exactly, you know, the heart of the crown. So both, when those are both active and engaged, you got that open. And gratitude's the key. Gratitude is key. Now, the other second piece I wrote down. There's three points I really wanted to to cover. There's something called the law of gratitude. So look at it this way. When you send out gratitude to, you know, I'll refer to the universe, God, Brahman, the supreme essence, unique, ultimate energy, whatever your words are, when you send gratitude there and your intention is, I'm so grateful to God or to the universe, it will never fail to reach that creator entity. I mean, it's it's difficult to talk about. It's just because we know it's all one. Um, But it will never fail to reach your creator. It just won't. When the intention is behind it and you send gratitude, grateful to the universe, it reaches the universe. Now, the law of gratitude is that there's a direct reaction of the same, you could say, force or power. So Mm -hmm. as soon as it reaches the universe, which is pretty instantaneous, that essence of energy turns around and comes back as movement and momentum to you. Mm. It's like an instant fix of goodness. It's an instant shift. It's an instant shift. Now, it might not show up as like a stack of $100 bills that you want, or it could. 
but something is coming your way to elevate you. This is the law of gratitude. And I think when I started to look at it deeper, I was like, oh, no one's talking about this. It's true. Mm. It's instantaneous. It will, you know, we could send a letter, it gets lost in the mail. We could send an email and those emails that get lost in cyber. When you send gratitude to God, to the universe, it will never not be received. And because it's received, the turnaround is the same. You get this movement and momentum back to you. All through gratitude. All through just gratitude, not just, but gratitude. This is how powerful it is. That's why it's an important practice. Exactly. Yeah, because it really does uh, permeate every area of your life. You know, I had an interesting story about this with healing where uh, a gentleman was very, very uh, ill mm-hmm. and his wife is freaking out. Mm-hmm. Like as she, as you might expect, mm-hmm. you know, she's super, super concerned for him, wanting to do everything that she can, but just, just really worrying. Mm-hmm. And in order to help her get out of that, because her worry mm-hmm. is going to inhibit his healing process. Right. Okay. That's important to understand. Yes. You know, because you're not holding the space for the solution. You are holding the space for the problem. Right. And making that worse with all of the worry. So step number one is to get her worry out of the way. Right. How do we do that? With gratitude. Right. Right. I'm so grateful for my husband's healing. Yes. And that was soothing for her. Right. And it it helped to get her back into the solution, that Mm -hmm. instantaneous shift. That's super powerful. Mm -hmm. You know, and then his healing path starts to unfold in a much, much more different way, right? Right. Without all of that worry and anxiety surrounding it. Exactly. Being projected on it. So um, it's not only for you, it's for the people around you too. But you're the direct benefit. You cannot... You can't not benefit from having gratitude. Exactly. You just can't. And the third reason, this is for all of you people that want to manifest and love manifest and love creating your reality and you know you're the architect of your life, here it comes. Your manifestations, your expressions, what it is you desire to bring in will come in faster. And I'm even going to use the word with like more ease. I'm a big fan of effort. I do believe we need to put effort and we need to take action. This is not about sitting on the sofa and just thinking. Yet your manifestations will come into reality with more ease when you're closer to source, when you're closer to the creator of. Well, guess what? The great unknown. The great unknown. Universe Brahman, God, whatever. When you're closer to that, the manifestations come in faster with more ease and you're closer to that creator when you're giving gratitude. Okay. And I want to just get one little, one little point here that I'm, I'm sort of interested in your thoughts on is like, when you say closer to, because when I think about that, it's like, well, that's the rich substance, you know, it's everywhere. It's Mm -hmm. all permeating. When you say closer to, what do you, what do you mean by that? Thoughts, your mind, Right. Because we're in it. So like embodied. Yeah. We're in that. Yeah. We we can do a whole nother podcast on this substance of the universe that we manifest through. Um, heart, mind, intention is closer to. Oh, so aligned. Yeah. Because embodied. how can we location like we're in the universe? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yet we know that our thoughts can go off into really wicked, low vibe places. And so what are you going to bring in that same vibe or frequency? So you want to think of that law of mind action, what you're thinking about, you're creating, you're drawing in, what you're thinking about, you're creating, you're drawing in. So when you're thinking about gratitude, you are, your mind and your heart energy is closer. Mm, And so the manifestations will be more of ease and faster. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. That's, for anybody that's wondering, that's my myrrh coming through. Your myrrh. It's a quality of uh, kind of a perceptive quality, a sharp, it can be a little sharp sneaky. and sneaky. Yeah. yeah. And, um, mm-hmm. but it, it's a uh, analyzer. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so that little, but that little nuance to me is important because is. that's kind of like, well, how do you really think about this? Like, how do you really experience it? Mm-hmm. And, um, for some people that might make perfect sense. And then for some other people like me, it's like, okay, well, but that's already everywhere. So how do I get closer with it? Mm-hmm. And what you're really talking about is being aligned and embodied, mm-hmm. you know, really and truly in the flow of that movement, Accepting. that source, like yeah. whatever you want to call that, yeah. that, yeah. Uh, that there's that an thing. acceptance that it exists. Acceptance. Wow. That's mm-hmm. a cool word. Mm-hmm. That's a really cool way to put that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fully accepting mm-hmm. that available to it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. See, I learn from you every time. Oh, I always learn from you. Oh, aren't we special? So that's yeah. the thing, everyone. Like for one thing, number one, hold gratitude your mind is lifted up. 
right? You're facing, you're in the higher aspects of your mind. Number two, there's going to be goodness coming right back to you. It's like instantaneous and you'll feel it. The more you're in it, you're like, oh, boy, this day's going well. You know, first thing, start your day with, it's going to be a great day. I'm so grateful for today. That's way better than I better check Facebook Mm. or I better check my email. I don't know. That's the worst way to start the day is to start opening up your phone. When (laughs) I do that, it does not go well. It does not go well. It's going to be a great day. I'm so grateful. And your manifestations are going to come in faster and with more ease. Yeah. Well, as long as it's the hundredth episode and we're talking about gratitude, tell me, what are you grateful for? Just one thing. We'll bounce back and forth. Just one thing. I'm grateful. Oh, it's so hard to pick just one. Well, we'll you'll get to pick more uh, okay. than one. I'm grateful for wisdom. Wisdom. Not necess- I'm not saying I have it. I'm grateful for the wisdom that I can acquire from certain teachers. Hmm. And information. I'm grateful for wisdom. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. That's like philosophical wisdom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am grateful for, um, well, for waking up today, Mm. you know, some Mm -hmm. people didn't. And, uh, that's morbid, but it's true though, you know, and it's not, it's Mm -hmm. really not. It's just like, that's the cycle of life cycle of life. And, um, I'm grateful to have another day to be able to do what I do Mm -hmm. and, uh, hopefully, Mm -hmm. you know, do something of value in the world. Mm -hmm. I think that's, uh, you know, that's really important to me and and Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for that. Mm -hmm. Uh, name my turn. I'm grateful for my clients and students, all you people listening, like just to have an interest in learning, utilizing higher teachings to make your life better, like it completely blows my mind every day. It really does. Mm-hmm. The way that people show up, yeah, and and really like they're thirsty, you know, right. for, for this, and and they're they're really ready and willing to make a shift in their lives. And I know that that's not easy. Yeah, I know that it's not super even, receptive. It's not easy to even come to that conclusion, let alone take action. On right. It, you exactly. Know, and really follow through. And I'm just blown away by yeah. that, that people do that, man. Yeah. I just think that's the coolest thing. What about um, you? What about me? I am grateful for you. Oh, I was going to say I'm grateful for you the next one, but you stole it. I got it. (laughs) I got in there. No, I am because um, I'm very grateful actually, because uh, it is, uh, it's a little lost for words, which is not (laughs) normal for me, but uh, having a partner Mm -hmm. and somebody who, you know, really gets me and really supports me and really holds up space for my highest and best. Hmm. Like that, that's just awesome. Aww. Like it really is. So I'm super grateful. Well, I'm grateful that you get that. Sometimes I got to run to New York and other times I got to go to India and I just can't stay put. <laughs> that's a little tough on Nick, but it's just something I do. I know when you're getting <laughs> restless and I mean, what are you going to do about that? You know, it's like at the end of the day, like would I really want you here when you are being called somewhere else? Yeah, that's good. And, and I'm mm-hmm. not always able or, or willing to travel with mm-hmm. you. And so and, that, and that's my choice. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that's cool. Mm-hmm. And, and that's I get cool. a little, you know, a yeah. little time with the Leonard, you know, <laughs> the and, Leonard. I'm grateful for the Leonard and the <laughs> Sabrina. No, I'm super grateful for Zoe, my daughter, cause I learn from her all the time. Man, she's amazing. Yeah. She's pretty smart. Yeah. If she listened to this episode, she'd probably be a little embarrassed, but, Might be. um, but I really am just, yeah, Aisha, mm-hmm. I'm really grateful to know her. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's just an amazing human being. And uh, I think you did awesome as a mom. Thank you. And uh, yeah, she's a good one for yeah, sure. Cool. Let's do one more. One more. I'm grateful for our surroundings. You know, we're here in Carlsbad, California. It's a beautiful place. There's a beach, you know, that that beach and wherever you are, like it doesn't have to be the beach. It could be the mountains. It could be the grass. It could be the desert. You know, when I look at it and sometimes it's so striking, I can't help but just be like, what the heck? Like, who made that? Mm. So for whomever the creator is, the universe, God, and all the people that have before us done their very best to try and explain it, I am very grateful. Mm. The uh, sunset tonight was ridiculous. Oh, I was here. It was. I, I was here too. And I was looking out the window though, mm. and it was just the most rich mm. pink and purple uh, that I had seen in a really long cool. time. Yeah. If I weren't in the right in the middle of a presentation, I would have. I would have <laughs> just run outside and and <laughs> taken that in. I'm very grateful for uh, for living here too. Yeah. You know, I am really grateful for, I guess this kind of comes back to your first one, uh, the 
particularly energy mastery, the tools Mm -hmm. uh, and teachings that I've received from there and how Mm -hmm. they've impacted my life as well as Vedanta. Mm -hmm. Like those are, those are two things that have literally impacted my life in ways that I could never have imagined. Right. And, and truly so incredibly profound, not one area of my life has not been profoundly impacted by those things. That's so true. And so I'm super grateful. Like, I don't know what, whatever needed to happen in order for those things to come my way mm-hmm. in this lifetime. I don't mm-hmm. know. And I'm just so That's cool. b- over the moon to even have access to that because a lot of people don't. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. And as well, one more time, we're grateful for you. So thank you for listening. 100th episode of the Illumination Podcast with Nick and Kismet. If you're interested in the Ultimate Life Tool Assessment, there's a link to purchase that in the show notes. It's a great way to know what you are, what drives you, and to have an hour session with us as we lay that out and help you really have your own unique operating system. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Well, we should do, I mean, I could geek out on that forever, so we'll get more into Mm -hmm. it. But again, from my heart, uh, so grateful for you, um, for you, Kisma, for our whole team and for every single listener. Thank you so, so much. Have a great day. Namaste. Hey, thanks for jamming with us today. And if you enjoy Illumination Podcast, please go ahead and share it with someone you love. Give us a rating, review, download our podcast. And remember, you can find us at illuminationacademy.net forward slash podcasts. Talk to you soon. Namaste. Namaste.